Hey, what's going on? I'm Wonderful Will of the Broccoli Ain't the Green Show. Basically, we call it the Bag Show for short, so we had to go through all that formality. But anyway, we hope you had a great week. I just briefly want to talk to you about a situation where uh, one of my Facebook friends posted a video through his Facebook Instant Messenger, and it's had and it was about this young couple young black couple from Arlington, Texas and she was explaining about an experience a bad experience she had at Walmart and it's not particular with the store or management or anything like that you know basically she was doing her, her you know how you just do your little routine shopping at Walmart and getting you some items and, you know miscellaneous things and all of a sudden this strange woman approached her started trying to talk to her engage in, in the conversation with her you know, they start talking about religion, how, you know, God is good and, you know, he's going to bless you and all types of things like that, which is fine. And eventually the lady start asking her a lot of questions and then she offer her a card and she asked the woman, could you smell the card? And that's some, I guess that was kind of like a red flag that set her off. And then she's like, no, thank you. You know, I'm good. And can you i just want to continue doing what i'm doing and the lady was almost wouldn't let her leave and then when she get to the point where she's about to force her way through her she noticed that she made eye contact with some guy pretending to look in that video and she noticed him when they first start talking and then next thing you know they start communicating with each other and then that's when she, i guess her sixth sense started kicking in and she like i gotta go and then next thing you know, she noticed another guy from the other side. I guess she didn't see him from a blind side. Then all of them start kind of engaging and talking with each other. And they were talking using their cell phones. So I know I would have got the hell on too if I was her. And then she was trying to maneuver around them. They just kept following her. I mean, they followed her throughout that whole store until she was able to get in touch with uh, the management. And they got their store security involved and they was able to help her and then they got into her car but they just want to share that story with with uh, everybody because this could be really these things like this it actually happens it does that's why you have to be well these for women and young teenage girls have to be careful out there and i'm not trying to start some type of panic panic mode thing but I just want you to be aware of what's going on and be aware of your surroundings. We have, especially with our young girls, you have to teach them. Like, this. don't talk to strangers. We, know, we always teach our girls that, even little boys, but particularly little girls, because normally it happens to little girls more than, than little boys. But I just want to just pinpoint that to you all. Talk to your children don't if there's somebody like an adult try to engage in a conversation uh, conversation with you and in that conversation make you feel kind of weird there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong and just keep going do not make eye contact you just keep going if they just uh being totally persistent in trying to have a conversation with you you know what if you feel like you have to run i'll do that too because don't worry about people thinking you if you're crazy or not I read a, I, I don't I can get over that but I just want you to just just really pay attention to that as women I don't really have to tell you this but you know but sometimes we have to be reminded of some things too as adults but women like when you go into clubs you should really go with some friends with some friends and and if you decide to go by yourself which is nothing wrong with that just you know use good common sense like you know your drink goes everywhere you go do not leave your drink unattended because you got some perverted bastards out there who will like who probably try to slip something into your drink and next thing you know you've been violated or you've even been kidnapped but that's all i want to talk to you about and i'm not going to hold you too long but just something that should really make you think there's nothing wrong with reporting things like this don't like I said, if people think you're crazy then then so big, they'll get over and you'll get over. 
But the main thing is you go home safely and you remain safe. But I, like I said, I'm not going to hold you up, but I just want to make you think. And y'all have a great, great uh, weekend. Have a great life. And always remember, God is love and love is God. And we love you. Peace.